Hi everyone, this is Sam Board at Work.com and today we're looking at the Lenovo Idea Center B540. Now the B540 is an all-in-one device, um, basically it's the all-in-one computer from Lenovo and it's part of the B5 series of computing. Now I'm going to go down the list of exactly the features they have included in this particular configuration and just to put it up front, this particular configuration would put you back about $899. Um, so straight off the bat, now Intel Core i3, now that's the processor running this and it's clocking at 3.4 gigs. We have Windows 864 bit on here as you can see with um, basically from edge to edge of the display itself. Now this is the display area of 23 inches with a full 10 point multi interface display so you can put all 10 fingers on there. I'm sure there are probably apps out there that you, your kids will probably want to use all 10 of your fingers on. Now on there we have Intel HD graphics, one terabyte of SATA HDD. Now you can always upgrade this to, uh, to two terabytes with the configuration, but it is also possible to actually pop out the hard drive there and actually put in your own bought hard drive. Now what that could mean is that now instead of just being limited to the two terabyte um, conf conf configuration from the Lenovo website, you can maybe switch it out to an SSD at maybe 256 or yeah, if you really want to go for it, switch it up to a 512 SSD. Hey. The sky's the limit, right? Now, the memory on here, we have uh, four gigabytes of DDR3, which is upgradable, um, which is upgradable on the Lenovo site to about um, eight gigabytes. Now, as same thing goes for the, for the memory modules um, as you would for the hard drive, which it's easily upgradable. You can probably pop that out and, you know, get going. Now, it has a built-in 720p camera, which is dead center over here. And, um, Basically, stereo speakers. Uh, what else does it have on here? It has two USB 3.0 um, ports, four USB 2.0s, one HDMI, one mic port, and one H um, headphone port. Now, let's go around and just um, go ahead and look through the whole, um, you know, the, the whole device itself. Now, I should note that this particular configuration comes with this. It comes with it comes with a keyboard, and this is a wireless keyboard and a wireless mouse. Now, I should point out that there is an additional, um, you know, there is an additional uh, the component that comes with this, which is your USB dongle. However, I should point out, although this does come with, uh, you know, three US or two USB 3.0s and four USB 2.0s, you are going to be using one of the USB port solely dedicated to your USB dongle, basically, if you want to use your mouse and keyboard. Now, I'll bring that a little closer. Maybe you can see that. It's a pretty small USB dongle, so it doesn't really stick out too much. I'm going to slide that back in because I'm probably going to need the keyboard and mouse going forward. Now, I'll slide the keyboard and mouse out of here. And um, I'm going to turn this to the side. Now, the weight on this is actually 22 pounds, which in and of itself isn't too heavy, it's easily movable. So now let's go through the side of the device. Now on the right side of the device, I'm going to take this plastic off so maybe you can see a little better. You have your power button, you have one USB port, two USB ports, these are your USB 2.0s, you have your headphone jack and your mic jack as well as a multi-card reader right there. Now I'm going to turn the device to the rear. On the rear of the device you have one two, three, four. Now, those are four USB ports, two 2.0s and two 3.0s. You have an Ethernet jack um, behind there and you have a HDMI port right there. Now, we're gonna switch it over to the right side of the device. Now, the 22 pounds actually means you can grab this and just twist it as easy as possible. Uh, not the easiest, but it takes only a little bit of effort. Now, you have your, um, Oh, basically the optical disk drive here. I'm going to pop that out so you can take a look at it. It's the optical disk drive. I'm going to pop that back in. And that's all you have on the right side of the device right now. Now I'm going to switch this back to the front. Uh, actually, I'm going to switch this and put this face down. So what I need to do that, I'm just going to grab a little napkin here from my kitchen and flip the screen itself on here. Okay, so let's do that. Now I'm just going to show you how easy it is to actually pop this open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this down and you just slide this open, you slide the sides open uh, 
Let's see if I can get this done correctly. You slide the side open. Oh, I think I just popped out the USB dongle. And you, that's it. You are ready to switch out the hard drive, which you can see over here. That's the, uh, or, uh, the, the blue component <laughs> over here. That's the hard drive. Or you can switch out your memory, which is right there. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I'll flip this around. I'll, I'll pick this up and flip it around so you can actually take a look at it. But you're using basically the same memory module you'll be using when you have um, with, with your... Um, you know, with your uh, laptop. So if you have any extra laptop memory hanging around, that would go in the memory slot over here. And as you can see, this is your hard drive. And this is the SATA hard drive, so it should be compatible with any SATA compatible SSD or HDD. So you don't have to be limited to the, to the one terabyte configuration or the two terabyte com configuration that um, you would get from Lenovo. You can go as high as you want on uh, the hard drive configuration. However, you're not gonna be able to use a dual hard drive setup because this only has a single hard drive setup. Now, now, one additional thing to say is basically the um, the the graphics on here is actually integrated, so you're not going to be um, you know uh, able to. Uh, I don't think this is going to play your heavy duty games, but I'm sure it will be able to handle some of your mid to lower, so I should say, some of your lower mid to um, low end games on on this particular um, device. Now I'm going to slide that back down. Oh, excuse me. Get that out of here. Now, I have to figure out how this goes back in. So, excuse me, I'm going to block the camera view for just a little bit. Slide in. Put this back in for a little. Get that match together. And slide back in. That's as simple as it is to put the back together. As you notice, that is pretty um, easy to get the back off and back on. So, I'm sure you can clearly see from here your you can clearly see here are your USB 3.0s again and your USB 2.0s, Ethernet dongle and HDMI. So I'll flip this around. I've probably got a lot of fingerprints on here right now. I'll slide the cord to the back. Now, the good thing about this is it has a very, it has a, a very um, forgiving angle of display so you can have your display angle be something more of a, almost a 90 degrees and you can almost switch it to a 45 degree angle and that works pretty damn well it's actually however way it's more comfortable for you you would have that um, you know it, it's easy to get it to a to, to, to just to an angle that is easier for you to view um, depending on the situation you have your um, device now I'll slide that a little bit further bar back and um, okay See, one problem is when you hold this, it keeps on popping the um, ODD out. Now, I'm going to point out right off the bat that uh, I have this in the kitchen, as, you can, uh, as you've noticed, and that's one of the things I've always wanted to experiment with a touchscreen um, touch um, PC. Now, this PC is 22 pounds. It's easy to put anywhere. You can move it. You can obviously move it anywhere at home. It has, um, because it's all in one device, you don't really have to deal with too many cables. So that actually is an added benefit. So you can actually take this from your kitchen to your living room to wherever. You can actually use it as a guest computer if you say you have a guest guest over and there's no computer in the guest room, you just move it over to the guest room. It's really easy to pick up from one part of the house and move elsewhere. It is not your regular traditional PC where you have a monitor and the, um, the units on the side of the, uh, of the, of the um, you know, of the office desk or desk, whichever kind of desk you use. Now, keyboard wise, this is Windows 8, so yes, it does use the shortcut that Windows 8 has, as well as, you know, a mouse. It does basically use a touch screen for Windows 8, I should correct myself, as well as a mouse and keyboard. Now, just to show you how responsive this is, I'm going to go go ahead and do a five touch, um, basically a five touch demo, and um, slide it back, slide here, pretty responsive, Let's see if I can uh, pop out the, yep, pop out the option pane, or the menu pane on the left. And uh, maybe take you to regular desktop mode. You see, basically, the Lenovo um, desktop, um, or should I say, the desktop background comes with a few um, pre-installed. Um, you know, it comes with a few pre-installed programs, which, as you all know, it's mostly things that you're not going to use. But I'll say, hey, if you're really into watching movies, you might want to keep the uh, uh, the Lenovo Power to Go, um, the Lenovo Power DVD 10, and um, if you think that paying for a uh, 
uh, antivirus is the way to go, you can always go with the McAfee that comes on here um, pre-installed and maybe sign up for a, um, a monthly membership. Now, all in all, I'm, I've, have, I've had this for about a week and I haven't really had any problems with this. I've been really pleased. Now, most people would say, oh, you really don't need a PC in the kitchen, but, you know, it depends. This PC is really geared towards multi-use. It could be your regular home PC, it could be your kitchen PC where you maybe watch um, a video of um, you know one of the top chefs making a dish and you know you follow along or it could be your uh, as I mentioned your guest room PC. All in all this PC is going to set you back as I mentioned prior uh, previously for uh, $899 basically at Best Buy and you can pick it off the Lenovo website as well. Now for more information about this you can always visit Lenovo.com or you can always stop by the blog BoardAtWork.com and um, read the blog. Well this has been Sam for BoardAtWork.com and this has been the Lenovo Idea Center B540. Enjoy your entertainment.